They call it the Magic Mile, home to the region's only NASCAR National Series. But it's not just these colorful cars pushing 125 miles per hour that call New Hampshire Motor Speedway home. Motorcycles have raced here in Loudoun since the early 1920s. This will be the 99th running of the Loudoun Classic, which is the oldest race in the U.S. Eric Wood knows the race well. He won it in 2012. Today, he's not here to ride, but to teach for his company, Penguin Racing School. All the same techniques that the very best riders in the world use to go fast also make street riders much safer at the same time. Wood believes the track has everything a rider needs to get better. There's no cars and trucks and people texting going the other way. Giving riders the confidence to really push the pace. Motorcycles at New Hampshire Motor Speedway peak at about 150 miles an hour. And what does that kind of speed feel like? It's fantastic. I mean, I absolutely love it. It's adrenaline, it's precision, it's athletic. With such a passion for the sport, it's no wonder Wood has made it his goal to pass on his experience to the next generation, mentoring young riders. Hi, my name is Renee Franco, and I race for the Penguin Mentor Program. I've been riding for almost seven years now, but I've been road racing for three seasons. Though all racers may look alike on the track, Renee turns heads when the helmet comes off. I think it's a mix between me being a girl and also being young because the combination is kind of unheard of in this sport, but it's pretty awesome. I love inspiring other girls to ride. And it's not just young girls she's inspiring. Working with the kids has breathed a whole new life into my program. It's how can I help these kids you know, along the way and, and learn from what I've done and transfer what I've done to a new generation to keep the sport going after I'm long gone. Jason Fowler is a world-class athlete. Well, since my accident in 1991, I've done over 150 road races, over 45 marathons, almost 50 triathlons now, including 22 half Ironmans, six Ironman World Championships. That drive toward the next challenge was born during Fowler's childhood with a gift from his father. Dad bought me a bike when I was six years old and I started racing shortly after that. And right away, being on a bike with a motor as a young kid uh, just was exhilarating. Fowler would go on to turn that passion into success as a motocross rider the high-flying, dirt-mound-hopping cousin to motorcycle road racing. I won eight New England motocross championships and just thrived on, I guess, going fast and, and really having that fun and challenge. Unfortunately, at, at age 17, I had an accident, fell off my bike, didn't see a rock, and, and, um, and basically wasn't able to walk again. And, um, and But right away, I guess five and a half months later, uh, borrowed a racing wheelchair from a friend of a friend and uh, went out and did my first road race. It lit me up inside in a way that I hadn't for the previous five months. Fowler says he made the transition back to racing with such incredible speed, in part because of former motocross rider David Bailey. I saw him on the television while in the hospital um, the Boston Marathon was on the television, and I saw him finish it, and I thought, wow, I got to do that someday. Two years later, Fowler did complete Boston before setting his sights on a higher goal, the Ironman World Championship. How do I learn to really accelerate my body and, and grow, my, grow my muscles and get faster? The answer was a combination of training. I just got to do it, as painful as it is. Sometimes. Nutrition training, mental focus, and oh, more training. I live in South Boston and really I have to get in my training anywhere I can. The fastest I've ever gone in a hand cycle is 45 miles an hour. The fastest I've ever gone in my racing wheelchair was about 35. In the end, all the hard work paid off with a world championship when he bested the man who inspired him to race, David Bailey. I crossed the finish line and I was all pumped. And then I was like, all right, what's next?
Oh, I love that so mm -hmm. much. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. And back to the Loudoun Classic. It's considered the longest running motorcycle race in the country. Right. This year's event in June was the 99th mm -hmm. running, and it's been hosted at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway since 1964. So they have a wonderful tradition there as well.